wanted to speak to you because I guess you're someone, aren't you, who's seen all sides of this kind of derby day. You know, yeah. in your first year here, we, we got a good win. Yeah. Second year, we didn't beat them at all. This year, it started off with a nil-nil. So what are your thoughts after that? Yeah, I think, um, I don't think nil-nil is probably a fair result. I mean, they had a few chances, Jordan made a few good saves, but I think we had enough clear cut, maybe not clear cut, but mm. we had enough chances to win the game. Um, you know, on another day, those chances go in. We, we've got front boys that score all the time, and you know, unfortunately, especially with you know the, the massive derby that it is, they didn't go in today. But you know, we've, we've conceded nine in the last two prior to this game, so you know, to get a nil-nil, I think you know we can take some some you know pride away with that. Yeah, exactly. It must be hard for a keeper and a defence when you concede nine goals in two mm. games. But that clean sheet will definitely do them some good, won't it, to to get that confidence back. Yeah, I, I, you know, you know, even though we conceded nine and two, I don't think the confidence was lacking. Yeah. I think um, you know, Eastley was a bit of a freak game. Every chance they had, you know, they did have too many chances, but every chance they had went in, mm. um, and you know, we nearly clawed that back. Um, so you know, I don't think the, the confidence is lacking. Um, I think it was just a blip, um, and I think we showed that today. You know, clean sheet is even though we didn't score, you know, to, to get a clean sheet is really important for for all of us, not just the back line but the front line and and definitely the fans. So. Yeah, I've just got to um, you know, look forward to, to playing them at their patch now and um, rest up and go again. Speaking of the fans there, 5,000 home fans in there today, that must have been incredible to play in front of. Yeah, it is like a 12th man, I know that's very stereotypical to yeah. say, but yeah, they were, they were in really good voice today. Um, you know, probably, I'm, I'm sure there's a few sore heads after Christmas yesterday, but you know, they sang their hearts out most of the game um, and, and got right behind us, so you know, we, thank, we thank them for that. Obviously, at this level, we play our two ga local games, don't we, over the Christmas period. So it's only half time, isn't it? We've got another opportunity to go there and show them what we're really made of, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. And and although it's a derby, it's just another game. Like the gaffer always says, um, the next game is the most important. Um, and we don't really want to treat it too differently because, you know, that might create some nervous tension and things like that. So, yeah, you know, we've just got to rest up, train hard and, um, and, and go, go again on, is it Monday? Monday, yeah. Monday, yeah, we just got to go again on Monday. It's been a pretty gruelling month, hasn't it? Yeah, you look yeah. at the games we've had, you know, they're not classed as derbies by our fans mm -hmm. by any stretch, but the two games against Eastleigh are local, big yeah. local ones. Yeah, we've yeah. got the FA Cup games against Stockport, mm -hmm. league leaders Chesterfield, and these two Woking games. So yeah. it's, it's a hard festive period, isn't it? But we are we're getting through it and we're yeah, doing well, yeah. aren't we? Yeah, you know, we've had, we've had some really tough games as of as of late, and games, you know, where we're probably not favourites to win, such as you know the Stockport, Stockports and stuff like that. So, I think you know, this point in the season, we've done so well, probably better than most people expected. Um, but you know, we, we we can't rest on that. We've got to keep going. Um, we've got the we've got the group to keep going, and we've got we're going to have a brawl in January, that's for sure, especially with all the cup competitions as well. So, now is the, the most important time to you know stay professional, do everything right, and um, you know, hopefully smash January out.